a very pleasant morning to all my dear student so starting with the day with monday i hope all of you must be safe fine healthy at your home god bless you each one of you so as we are discussing about the chapter number 1 of your main course book that is a letter to god we have started the chapter with two or three paragraphs we have already explained so first we revise those paragraphs then we proceed it in the previous class we had seen that lancho had his lonely house in the valley you know it and it was situated on the crest of the low hill from there one could see the rivers the fields everything lancho had a good crop but it needed rains badly lancho saw the sky in the north it had rain clouds his wife at that time was preparing supper he told her god willing it would rain soon big drops of rain began to fall lancho went out to feel the rain on his body he was very glad he said that the drops were drops of rain were like new coins big drops of rain were compared to 10 cents and smaller drops of rain were compared to 5 cents but the soon the hail rained on everywhere and the fields become white as if it covered with salt here it is compared with salt the crop was totally destroyed lancho became sad he felt that they would go hungry that year also they have no seeds for the next crop but lancho had a single hope help from almighty god and he was sure that no one dies of hunger he had a great and strong belief in god so he wrote a letter to god this much we have completed now take out page number 5 last second paragraph we are going to start let us start god he wrote if you don't help me my family and i will go hungry this year i need a 100 pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crops comes because the hell strong so lancho needed 100 peso he asked he demanded 100 pesos from god he wrote to god on the envelope and put the letter inside and still troubled and went to town so letter likha letter pe likha to god and the post office he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox aur usne letter box mein dal diya one of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his box laughing heartily and showed him the letter to god never in his career as a postman as a postman had he known that address the postmaster was a fat amiable yes friendly a fat amiable fellow and also broke out laughing but almost immediately he turned serious and tapping the letter on his desk commented what faith i wish i had the faith of the man who wrote this letter starting up a correspondence with god so here in this paragraph the author he told that about that when lancho put that letter in the letter box an employee of the post office showed that letter to his boss that is the 
postmaster. At once the postmaster laughed seeing the address. Then he realized he understand the feeling of that kind of letter. He wished to have such a faith in God. He had an idea and answered the letter. But reading it he found that the writer needed money. And it was to keep the faith of the writer. He asked all his friends and employees to give some money to help Blanche. Because he has a strong desire, strong faith in God. So in order not to shake the writer's faith in God, the postmaster came up with an idea. He had an idea in his mind. Then he called all the employees who were there in that post office and told that about the letter. Then he put a solution in front of that. He asked for the money from the employees. He himself gave a part of his salary. Us postmaster ne apni salary ka ek hissa tak bhi diya. Help karne ke liye lag chuke. Kyunki uski strong faith, God ke prati jo faith thi, usko dekh ke usse bahut achcha lag. And several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. An act of charity sab ko kaha gaya ki aap hume lancho ki help karne chahiye. It was impossible for him to gather together the hundred pesos. Hundred pesos collect karna bohat mushkil tha. So he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. He put the money in an envelope. Usne unhone aadha se adik we can say that 75 we can say that instead of 175 may be collected. And then they put the money in an envelope an address to lunch. And with it a letter containing only a single word as a signature, got. So here we can say that Lancho is having a very strong faith to God. He wrote a letter to him. The postmaster master read it, and then he knew that Lancho is Lancho needed, wanted, or demanded hundred pesos. Then all the employees who were present there, they collect the money, but they can collect only more than half. And then they put it in a letter and send it to lunch. So I hope whatever I have discussed it must be clear to you. Thank you so much.